Greetings, and welcome to episode 75. Today's episode is dedicated to somebody very special to me, uh, and her daughter, who is also my ex-wife. She passed recently, and I wanted to do an episode about some of the times we had together, and uh, also talk about death a little bit. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, Mary Spears. She is my ex-mother-in-law. She passed about three weeks ago. And, uh... I didn't know her for very long, but I, I guess you could say she was my mother. <laughs> I loved her. And, uh, it was, I guess you, you could say it was more of a loss than you would have expected it to be because someone special to me passed. And it wasn't just that it was special, she was special to me, she was my ex-wife's mother. And it also was troubling to me that my ex-wife had to go through that. Because contrary to popular belief, not all exes hate each other. My ex-wife and I are still very good friends. And it hurt to watch her have to go through that. Because while her health was declining she was staying with my ex-wife uh, what can I say this woman <clears throat> she to me was awesome and will always be awesome some of the stories I heard about her from my ex-wife Shendell she was she she grew up in times where integration were not suggested we'll say that i'm not quite sure if you would exactly call her a racist but she wasn't a hundred percent for what you would consider, I guess, race race mixing or interrela inter interracial relationships. We'll we'll say that. Uh, just before I married Shindell, my ex-wife, she told me to my face, and I quote, "I would be more than happy to have you as a son-in-law." No, that's a lie. That's not what she said. <laughs> she said, "I would be more than proud to have you as a son-in-law." That's what she said. And just, just that memory alone, and she will always be one of the most awesome people I've ever met on this planet. We had a lot of, we did a lot of stuff. I mean, I was the person she would call to clean her gutters or mow her lawn or this or that or the other. And uh, we were over there like every weekend hanging out with her when Shindell and I were together. Uh, I think one of my best memories, other than what she said to me before Shandell and I were married, one of my best memories was I made her laugh until she pissed herself. <laughs> Which was really cool. He had to be there. Because I think it was that same day I made Shandell laugh until she pissed herself, too. So... <laughs> You would have had to be there, but to me it'll always be hilarious. And it'll always be one of my favorite memories of her. Another one. Uh, growing up, I was accustomed to having different things on the holidays, like people have their certain meals they have. Well, Shindell and Mary were accustomed to sweet potato pie. Or no, they were accustomed to pumpkin pie. Well, where I, I grew up, 
obviously around different people. <laughs> and we were accustomed to sweet potato pie, and she went out of her way to make me a sweet potato pie one Thanksgiving, and I thought that was awesome. Just little things like that. She was just awesome. She met Victoria, my daughter, from a different relationship. This isn't even a, a child that myself and Chanel had. And uh, she treated her like she was her own grandchild. And I just, stuff like that, you appreciate stuff like that. And stuff like that gets etched into your heart. And you just, you r r will always remember those moments. I'm not even sure my daughter even remembers her. But I remember that those things happened. And it will always be, stuff like that will always be my favorite memories. And that's why I always, regardless of any difficulties or situations, I always saw Mary as family. I hated saying ex-mother-in-law, but to say mother-in-law would be confusing because I'm remarried and then obviously I have another mother-in-law. <laughs> But what she meant to me is magnificent, but it is nothing in comparison to what she meant to Shindell, my ex-wife. She probably doesn't even realize that when we were together, the way she would talk about her mom, the reverence with which she would speak about her mother, it, it would make me jealous because I didn't have that relationship with my mother. I know no matter how angry, no matter what came between them, I know that Shindell always loved her mother. You don't speak of someone with that much reverence. You don't, and, and, and harbor ill will for any lengthy amount of time. Now, I know that there were things that happened and Shindell became angry, but I honestly believe if she thought she had more time, it would have resolved. Or, or should I say, if she had known she didn't have as much time as she thought she had, the issues would have been resolved much more quickly. I just, she was just angry. And I could see, I can, I can say understandably so, because of the way things happened. But Mary, I'm sorry. Mary, Mary was awesome. Despite anything she's done in her past, I'm judging from the point where I met her. And the point where I met her, she was, she was awesome. She, she had a sense of humor. She was always cracking jokes, which made it so we were all always cracking jokes, which inevitably led to the making her piss herself laughing. But <laughs> just, and she just, she had a good head on her. <clears throat> A good head for things that needed to be done. And uh, I can only say that the things that happened in mine and Shindel's relationship happened because we were young. She was younger than I. Much younger than I. I just don't think she was ready. And then by the time she was ready, so many things had happened that, yeah. But none of, none of the things that happened while Shindell and I were together made me not see Mary as family. Or anybody else in that family, for that matter. Oh. It's very, very sad. She was a very strong member of that family. She was kind of the anchor, the go-to person if you, if you had trouble, if you had 
sometimes financial trouble or if you had emotional distress, you could go and you could talk to mom and she would either help you make it okay or tell you straight up, well, what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> Which was was awesome. She was just awesome, very down to earth. She was good at familial politics also. She was very, very diplomatic when it came to family situations. That was pretty cool also. <laughs> she was always there for Shindell and I. Always. And then... After Shindell and I split up, I lost track of ev pretty much everybody in that family for like six years. And then Shindell found me online, and I'm still in contact with a few of the family members. But I never really got back in contact with Mary. But while she was in the hospital, Shindell had told me that Mary was asking about me. And that she'd really appreciate it if I called her. So I called her. And I was just blown away that she remembered me and remembered who I was and was happy, actually happy to hear from me. And like lift, you could hear it in her voice. It lifted her spirits that I called. And I thought that was awesome. I thought that was really, really awesome. Almost like she was apologizing for things that happened. And she really didn't need to apologize. I mean, things happen. That's just the way life goes. And some things are out of our control. And we will always make decisions based on what's best for us. <clears throat> and I understand that. And I, she never needed to apologize to me for anything. I just, yeah. <laughs> but hearing, hearing it in Shindell's voice, the guilt for having been mad at her mom for so long because she didn't I mean nobody could have seen it coming I mean she got better she got sick she got better and then she got worse nobody could have seen that coming granted she smoked but just because you smoke is no guarantee you're gonna get cancer it just increases the odds <clears throat> but Shindell should also remember that for whatever happened then her mother assumes a part of the blame for that so she shouldn't try to carry that all on her own <laughs> and know that your mother loved you and still does, despite that what she was showing was maybe anger at the time, or even annoyance, strong annoyance we'll call it, probably wasn't even anger, but uh, even then she loved you. Shindal, if you're watching this, your mother loved you. Don't ever for a minute think she did. And I, I made an episode about death a while back, and uh, what prompted it was because Shindell was terrified her mother was going to die. And wow, looking back, when she was terrified her mother was going to die and wasn't sure if she was going to or not, she was, she was a wreck. But when she was certain her mother was going to pass, the transformation was... Awesome. She became this just strong woman. And she probably doesn't even see it herself. She was ready. No one's really ever ready for such a thing, but she was ready. If you know what I mean. And she won't know what I mean because she was there. She was the one doing it. So she, she won't see what everybody else saw. She went from a wreck not knowing to when she did know. Boom. She had this inner strength that it made me wish she didn't have to shoulder all of that all by herself. It made me wish that I could be there. It's 
And if Shindel remembers anything about this video or my video about death, is to know that death isn't what you think it is. That's not the end of the journey. That's just the end of that body. That body ceased to exist. Your mother is still there. Well, she's not. I don't know if she's like right next to you still there, but she's still here. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transformed into something else. And everything in the universe is energy. So I'm not sure if you're ready to hear this, but you're going to be okay. And your mother still loves you. She never stopped loving you. She will always love you. And it just so happens that her father also passed recently, very recently, like I think two days ago recently. And he's getting a side note out of respect for Shindel. He and I didn't get along. But the man was a master craftsman and used to make these RC boats to scale that were just magnificent. The man was a technical genius. But I think part of the reason why he didn't do anything with it is because to him it was just a hobby. And regardless of how I felt about him personally, I still had a lot of respect for his technical knowledge and know-how that he could take and build scale models of these boats and just come up with these ideas such as using uh, windshield wiper motors for motors for the boat because he couldn't find any motors powerful enough to move the boat as fast as he wanted it to go. I would have never thought to do that. <laughs> so like I said, regardless of how I felt about him personally, the man was a genius and I have a lot of respect for that. And that's the footnote for, for uh, Lloyd Laverne Spears. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up early. We're uh, almost to the 18 minute mark. After I edit it, it'll actually extend it out a little bit because of the credits and panels and whatnot. But uh, yeah, that was... It's nice to sit and think about Mary for a minute. And Shindel, if you're watching this, remember, good memories don't hurt. Just breathe. It's okay to think of the good stuff or even the bad stuff. Just breathe. And you can get through damn near anything. Like I said, I watched you transform in a matter of months from this train wreck to this just unstoppably strong woman you'll be okay I'm confident that you'll be okay but now I gotta do the, the video spiel thing I just want you to know at the risk of sounding like uh, uh, an asshole to whomever, whomever may watch this video Mary Goodbye, and I love you. Shindel, I love you, and I hope you're doing well. And that's it. <laughs> if you have liked this video, then click the like button. <laughs> you can favorite it if you want. If you would like to keep coming back and getting more information, or you just like the sound of my voice, <laughs> then go ahead and click the subscribe button. But until next time, you hang in there. <laughs>